Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I have my website. This is my new website. I've had it for a couple months now. And I have all of my artwork on there. So I just wanted to point it out to those of you who are new to my channel, my new subscribers and my new viewers, and uh, ask you to go check out my website. Everything on my website is for sale. All you have to do is email me. The last page on the website is a contact page. So just go to the contact page and you can put in your email address and your comment, um, whatever artwork you're interested in, and I will get right back to you absolutely immediately. So I have all of my artwork, all of my pours, all of my, um, my tiles that I've poured onto and poured resin over. Um, those are what I call desk art where you can um, you can either order them with they come with a little easel that they can sit on like the corner of your desk or the corner of a bookshelf somewhere uh, you know somewhere where you have just a small space but you want a little cool piece of artwork and I also have pendants on there that can come with a necklace or without a necklace um, depending on what you want so yeah so go check my website out I'd be really excited if you did. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want to buy anything, please contact me. I would love to um, to get in touch with you and, and send you one of my cool pieces of art. So check it out. www.southerndutchgirlarts.com One other thing I wanted to tell you about was this lady. Leanne's Life is the name of her YouTube channel. She just started maybe two months ago. She has about 40 videos. She is Dutch um, and she only speaks Dutch on her videos. But she's worth looking at whether you speak Dutch or not. Um, I encourage all of my viewers that speak Dutch to definitely check her out because you can understand a lot more about what she's saying than I can. Um, I don't understand Dutch unfortunately. Even though I am half Dutch I don't understand but I do enjoy watching her videos, and she's just a lovely, lovely lady. I do enjoy speaking with her from time to time. Um, like I said, check her out. Leanne's Life, L-I-A-N-E, capital S, Life. Um, yeah, she's really lovely. And uh, she does some pretty stuff on her channel. So go check her out, and let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, let her know that I sent you over there. So yeah, go check her out. Um, my idea from today for today actually came from her. It involves the bottom of this is a Mountain Dew bottle. Um, not sure what kind of soda she used, but <laughs> doesn't really matter. Any soda bottle bottom will do. So I just obviously you can see I cut the rest of the bottle off, cleaned it out real good so it's nice and dry, and it won't you know. I'm not sure what Mountain Dew would do to my paint. Probably not really much of anything, but you never know. And I have a small pour cup here. So anyway, I got the idea from her video. I believe it's video number 17. Um, hers is a little different than what I'm going to do today. Basically what she does is she, is she puts the bottle top down and then she pours one color after another onto it. And, um, and it just sort of spreads out and then she pulls that up and, and moves it around. And it, it's, it's a lovely painting. So go check that, that video out. But what I'm going to do is, as you can see... I have it setting on my spinner because the spinner is so much fun. I love to do it. I love to watch the paint just go splattering everywhere. Um, and now I don't have anything under here to collect it. I need to get like some butcher paper. Somebody suggested some butcher paper and I just haven't gotten around to it. Never think about it while I'm out. So um, yeah, I want to try doing something like that. I also have an idea of catching the splatter with a canvas, but that's that's going to take a while. So, um, so today what my plan is, is a flip cup. I'm going to pour the paint into the flip cup, flip it over here. Then I'm going to set this on top of it. And then I'm going to pour the individual colors over here so they can spread out. Not too much though. And then I'm going to take this off, pull this up the flip. So the flip cup will start spreading out and I'm going to spin it. <laughs> and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I really have no idea, but it should be cool. But first I need to tape down my 
canvas to this because normally I would just tape it down to this, but the canvas won't touch that. So I'm just going to put some little pieces of tape, little pieces of tape that I cut out on the underside of the canvas there. And as you can see, I have my pins there. I don't need them for the spin, but when I take them off the spinner and set them over there, I'm going to need them so they don't, so that my canvas doesn't sit against the, the table. And I, as you can see, I have stapled the corners here. I always take this edge and I pull it up and I fold it under and then I staple. And when you hammer it down, it kind of creases that out so that these, because when the paint comes over and hits these loose edges, the loose edges will come up. And it just looks kind of junky. So I always staple those corners down. I think it looks much better that way. Not that anyone really cares, but if you want it to sit flat against the wall, on somebody's wall, you, you want to, you know, make sure that they're going to stay flat. So I've got those taped down. Hopefully that will be enough to hold this. I tried spinning it without it and the canvas kind of went wonky. Okay doesn't have to be perfect because this is not I'm not I'm not pouring anything so it will go off so it really doesn't have to be perfect on here if you're gonna do like a spin where you just pour it and you want the it to spin perfectly you really do want the centered because <laughs> when you're done spinning it looks really funny if it's not centered okay so that'll be good it is staying it's happy I think but this actually is spinning on the thing. Maybe I should put a piece of tape down there. Mm, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, now I have taped everything down. Taped the, the canvas down to the cardboard and then the car cardboard down to the spinner because I noticed that the weight of the canvas is actually pulling the cardboard loose and it's spinning. I don't know. I don't think it would have really any effect, but we'll see. All right. So colors for today, I'm using all, uh, apple barrel paints today because mm, I don't know. A couple things lately have cracked a little bit and I've got the heaters going in here. That's why I'm kind of out of breath because I'm getting hot. <sighs> um, colors for today. They're all apple barrel. Except for my white. My white is, of course, the Artist Loft. It's the titanium white. These are Laguna, Bright Yellow, Cranberry, and Wild Hours. I use the Cranberry and the Wild Hours all the time. You're probably sick of it, but I love the color. The colors together, and they always seem to work well for me. And I have little bitty cups of paint, because I'm. I don't want... I kind of would like to have some white space left over, some negative space, but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to have any left over. So well, let's put, I'm going to mix these up. I just, no, I don't want that on there. I don't want it interfering. I put some silicone on I put it in all of the colors. And I, actually my paint, I made my paint a hint thinner today just because of the weather, the cold weather uh, bothering my all my colors and stuff. I'm restarting this because I can see the silicone sitting on top. So sorry, I'm quiet. <laughs> I'm just sort of thinking in my head what color colors to go with because these colors together if they mix together too bad it's going to turn brown muddy ugly yucky and we don't want that i just want it this is just another experiment i like to do experiments i like i like to kind of go back and forth between the experiments and the tried and true methods that you know turn out to be kind of cool And again, I'm going to tell y'all, I, I have this bad habit of posting my videos um, 
out of order from the way I made them. So some things I say might not make sense. I apologize for that. But I get sometimes I get a pour that I'm really excited about and I want to show it first before the other kind of boring stuff. So that's why you might see things um, in the wrong order. So I, if I say, yeah, I'm using leftover paint from the last pour and the last pour was green and purple and this pour is orange and red. It's not going to make any sense, but you get what I'm saying here. Okay. I'm going to try not to make a mess. I really want this. It's, that cup is probably more full than I had anticipated, but oh well. Okay. Not too bad. Now I'm going to take just some plain white and just pour it around the edges here to contain that pour and also to seal my little cup here. That way, hopefully when I pour the paint down, it won't seep back under there. Not that it really is going to matter. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Okay, I think that's pretty close to center. I can't really see real well, but uh, I think that's close to center. Let me make sure you're still in focus. Looks like it. Okay, so let's try, we'll go with the, I don't know. I don't even know what color to start with. Start with the purple. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. I think I want to do a little bit of white after that. It's like a little starfish. I'm going to do yellow. I just don't want to get too much paint on the canvas at one time because when I spin it, a lot of it's going to go flying. Oh, let's do a hint more white. This canvas, by the way, is a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. I haven't done a 12 inch in a while. And I thought, well, we're going to be spinning this and it's going to be a lot of paint on there. So let's go for it. I'm not sure what the turquoise is going to do against that. No, I think we're going to use the yellow. I've also seen um, somebody else on YouTube, she sets um, fingernail polish bottles here and it kind of gives the same effect here. So you could try that, I guess. Oh, let's do the green again. And I'm mixing these colors in between, pouring them on because the, there's, so, there's so little paint in these things. I want the silicone to really stay mixed in until the last possible moment. Maybe I should do some white again between those. It's kind of fun to watch. It's pretty. Where did I drip that? No, I dripped it just in the right spot. Thank goodness. This is going to be really interesting to see what it does when I set it to spinning. Y'all can probably like fast forward through to the end here because it's uh, slow going, but I don't want to sort of make a mistake here and pour too much on there. Oh, let's do... Let's do the purple. 
and then maybe a little more white. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it that way. Break things up a little bit. Oops. It looks cool so far. I kind of wish I had more colors, but I'm always a little afraid to do too many colors sometimes because you just don't know what it's going to do. I mean, all these colors, when it goes to spinning, it could turn muddy really fast. So enjoy watching this because once we start spinning it, it might go to brown. And I'll be really sad, but oh well. If it turns to brown, we'll use a different color, different color palette next time. Mm, let's do some white. Hopefully, I'll be because the sides are dry, I can pick this up without really disturbing it. Remember, we have the flip cup underneath this, so that should be interesting. It's probably dying to get out. I, and I really don't know how much of this paint to pour on there. That looks like it's probably plenty. So then I'm going to leave it with that. Wipe my hands off so I have some dry fingers. It looks cool so far. <laughs> we'll take this off really quick and hope that I won't drip it. There we go. Okay, now for the flip cup. That's pretty. Not too much white though. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the cells coming up. I have to just sit here and stare at that for a minute. There's like tons of tiny little cells in here. It's like very psychedelic looking. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed, everybody. Look at all the pretty stripes. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wow, this it looks cool from here. I feel like it needed to spin a little harder. I might spin it one more time just to get those because I can see the corners. I don't think the corners are covered. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. The last time I did, I set my hand under there and <laughs> that stick caught my fingers. Oh, that did not feel good. This, I don't know if you can see all the stripes on the outside. They're all kind of blending together. Wow, it's like a monster on here. There we go. Wow. I need to spin it one more time because I've got to get these to go off to the edge. But this is so neat. But I don't want to do this because I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to ruin the whole thing. Because I feel like it really, this needs to, needs to spread just a little bit more. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't see it covering that corner. I might have to just pour some, pour some color on there, or, or pick it up and tilt it just a tiny bit. Oops, caught one corner. Okay, it's not coming off of this corner, but look at that. Oh, I really don't. I don't want to. I don't want to fuss with it anymore. But it's got to, it needs, these two corners right here need something. I should have left that in the cup. I could have like, oh, I don't know what to do now. Let's see if maybe we could tilt it just a hint. Oh, I really don't want to tilt that. Need something in there. Let's make a. We'll make some ribbons real quick. Hopefully that will. If I got enough paint left. I don't know if I got enough paint left. I'm just pouring all the colors into into this little bitty cup, my little bitty flip cup. See if we can get some, uh, just enough for a ribbon. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. Sorry I'm doing this off camera, but I really have nowhere to set it. Okay. Got my little ribbon cup. Just gonna give it a quick stir so that it will sort of blend in there. Tilt that a little bit, see if it'll come off. There it go. It won't, it won't let go of my. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's good enough. I'll leave it like that. Wow, that is really interesting. Cool. All right, and I see that I have missed a little edge right here, so I'm just going to take my palette knife and uh, try and get that real quick. on here we probably maybe could have used a little bit more paint on the thing but that's okay it didn't turn muddy which that's one good thing and we'll torch it here as soon as I get these corners real quick and see what happens oh shh there's a dog barking outside, so of course Thor has to go check it out. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Watch this. No, I'll just dry it off real quick. Okay, we've got to torch it now. Ella, let's pop dogs out. Okay. The only thing I don't like is these cells, they're, these are what I call Pac-Man cells. They go, you know, they look like they're eating things. I don't like those. But the ones in the middle from the flip cup look pretty cool. Get the air bubbles out first. I'd like something else to come up in that yellow, but I don't think it's going to. No, there is nothing coming up in that yellow at all. All right, well, this was an interesting experiment. It didn't, I don't know if it, I had no idea how it was going to turn out. So I can't say it didn't turn out how I expected. It's um, very interesting. I'll probably do it again with some different colors. Just because I love the way these colors sort of blend together. Let me get you down so you can see. Okay, look at the blending of the colors in there. It's just gorgeous blending of colors. Over here, look at that. Look at that. And the cells in the middle are nice and round. I like those. Look how the colors just swirl in and out from each other. Oh, look, we've got some pretty veins. Oh, I'd love for the whole painting to be covered in those. Those little light blue ones there. There's some white through there. The white and that wild iris always make gorgeous veins. Oh, look at those right there. I didn't even see those. Right there in the center. Oh, those are gorgeous. And we'll go back up here. Look what that did. That was like where the two, I think where the two flower petals sort of met and spun off. And that yellow was 
Was that the last color I poured on the top, maybe? And that's why it's just sitting there. And you got a hint of, maybe a hint of almost a brown, but not quite. So, all in all, look at that corner with those veins. Oh, gorgeous. I love the veins. There's a bunch of Pac-Man cells. Or amoebas. Look right there in the center. It's a je another jellyfish without its t tentacles. Okay, so I want to thank all my new subscribers. Uh, I've gotten quite a few over the past couple weeks, so thank y'all for for uh, coming along for this wild ride here. Um, thank you to all my old subscribers who have stuck with me through all the goofy chatter and. <laughs> the the experiment's gone wrong and all that kind of stuff so um and uh thanks for going and checking out uh my website and also leanne's life her channel um thank you to all my subscribers all my viewers i love you all and um yeah i think that's about it so i will see you later bye